First now to the U.S. where police in South Carolina are searching for a man behind a church shooting. And the suspect, a young white man, opened fire inside a church in Charleston, killing nine people. Police say they believe the shooting at this historic African-American church is a hate crime. Several people were also injured in the shooting. And it is, uh, it is unfathomable that somebody in today's society would walk into a church when people are having a prayer meeting and take their lives. We are joined now by John Henry Smith, who is live in New York City. So, John Henry, get us up to speed on what we know so far. Well, the timeline as we understand it, Rochelle, is that about 9.05 Eastern Time, the police got a call about a shooting over at the Emanuel AME Church, one of the oldest black congregations in the South, by the way, in South Carolina. Once police arrived, they reported finding eight bodies there. They transported two more people to the local university hospital. One of them expired when they were at the hospital, so there's still one person left at the hospital being treated as, as, uh, as of this hour, and we know of nine people who are dead. Police say that the suspect is a very clean-shaven young male. They say they estimate his age to be about 21 years old, wearing a gray sweatshirt, jeans, and boots. Uh, they are looking for this young man. He is still at large, although they have not, uh, the police have not activated any sort of evacuation order for the local area. They just tell people to stay at home. They, police say tomorrow they will be issuing a reward for information for this gentleman's capture, though they do not yet know how much that reward will be. So again, at this hour, the manhunt is still on for the person who walked into the Emanuel AME Church and right as of now has killed nine people. And John Henry, this shooting comes at a time when there's a lot of racial tension in, in the U.S. right now. Can you put this in some sort of context for us? Well, it's interesting. The pastor at this church is a man named Clementa Pickney, and there, are, there have been conflicting reports as to whether or not he was actually in the church at the time. We don't know if, what his condition at this time. We can't confirm or deny that, but we do know that certainly this uh, pastor Pickney was at uh, prayer vigils for Walter Scott, the gentleman who uh, was shot by the South Carolina police officer while he was trying to run away from the police officer. This, this uh, church has been a, a church where famously Dr. Martin Luther King spoke uh, during his heyday and you know, other uh, black leaders and black uh, luminaries in the, in the in theology field have made their way toward this church. This church is a very important place uh, in the in a very important uh, church in, in the black community, and certainly it's going to be a, a flashpoint going forward. Okay, John Henry Smith live from New York. We'll continue to follow that story and update it here throughout the day.